Hey you guys, it's Chef Bam. Here I am showing you how I break down my chicken. So, you know, this part can be difficult if you make it. You really just need to feel where a good place is to cut. And while I was cutting this chicken, I just thought, wow, it's difficult to break down this chicken just like it's difficult to cut people out of your life because you're so used to having them in your life. You're so used to the toxicness or the toxicity <laughs> or you're, you know, just used to them being there when they are really, you know, not adding anything to your well-being and they stop you from getting things done and more of a hindrance to your success so you know once you take out the bad pieces and continue to trim the fat then you have all the good pieces of you left to salvage and you make it into something beautiful something that one can respect because it was just something that needed to be done. Some things need to be done, like breaking down this chicken into smaller pieces so that I can feed a family of five. And we would be a family of six, but I am separated. And it is a wonderful thing because my household is very happy now compared to before. So, guys, breaking down this chicken, it took a little bit, but I got it. I got through it, and I got it done. And after I finish breaking down this chicken, I'm going to go ahead and start to season. I'm going to clean it with the lemon, and then I'm going to season it with um, a couple of different types of seasonings. Um... And when I think about the seasonings that I use, and I did, I don't know if I cleaned this, um, this scissor before I used it, but I hope I did. Um, but anyway, not that it really would matter if I didn't, because I'm using it to clean this nasty ass chicken that I'm about to cook. So, um, yeah. So, I, when I think about the seasonings that I use to season my meat, I think about the different type of people that I have in my life. You know, each seasoning offers something different to the plate. And it turns out to be this beautiful thing. So, you know, just imagine if each seasoning that I use, there was a different person in my life. They add different thoughts and different aspects to allow me to formulate the right decision or the right thoughts so that I can make the right decisions in my life. And and look how beautiful this chicken came out because of all those different seasonings that marinated together. And this chicken is about to go into the oven and it's going to be bomb when it come out. Because you don't even know that I do this all the time. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to straighten out the skin and flip it over and I usually put like a little bit of butter or something in in the pan with my chicken, but I don't think that I did that this time. I don't think that it was necessary. This chicken was so delicious. I just thinking about when I ate it because it, it's gone already, you know? It's gone. As soon as it comes out, it's, it's gone. And we don't usually have leftovers. And if we do have leftovers, no one eats them. They just go to waste. So I try not to have leftovers. Voila. Look at that. They're already, they're already done. But now I'm just... This is just the sauce that I brought from the store. But it, it came out really good. I just poured the sauce over the chicken after I let it brown in the oven. This chicken cooked probably for like 20 minutes with foil on it. And so I mean like 30 minutes, you know, 
little foil on it and um yeah look at that i put it back in the oven after putting the sauce on it and it came out so wonderfully and i paired that with some cornbread look at that that sweet potato cornbread it was so good look at that was glistening look at that and white rice and have a good day